So, there are some pretty serious injuries around the NFL right now to two starting quarterbacks, Matthew Stafford and Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson, preseason game yesterday versus the Philadelphia Eagles. He went to go make a little dive, get a little extra yards, and he it was thought to be a torn ACL at first. Thank goodness. It's not an ACL. It's just a torn meniscus and a bruised bone. I'm expecting him to be out five, you know, no, maybe three to six weeks. They said two to four, but I think three to six is more realistic. Torn meniscus takes a little while to heal. And on top of that, the bruised bone. So I say three to six. I wouldn't be surprised two to four, best in the world, you know. But my prediction, three to six, say on the safe side. So Zach Wilson, hope he gets better because that Jets offense is loaded. I Now I think Mike White could fill in just fine. The offense is very good. He'd be okay. Mike White has all these weapons. Corey Davis, Elijah Moore. Uh, they have some really good tight ends. CJ Uzuma. I forgot. There's another one. But, yeah, man. I wish Zach Wilson the best of luck in getting healthy. And then you have Matthew Stafford. So, Matthew Stafford suffered a little injury to, like, his elbow. Like, this area. And it's more common in baseball. But it's, like, a ligament, some muscles in his elbow that's a little worrisome. This should have been taken care of in the beginning of the season. This is not a quick recovery injury. This injury is painful. It takes time to recover. And this injury is just not easy to come back from very quickly. So this should have been taken care of, taken care of earlier. You know, I'm not sure if they knew, but Matthew Stafford, man, that's that's a big one. That's a big one because I'm not even sure who backs up Matthew Stafford at the moment. Let me look it up real quick while we're talking about it, but... You know, Matthew Stafford being out, that really leaves the, that that even makes NFC, like, even more wide open. You know, it's, I'm not saying Matthew Stafford's going to be out the whole year, but, you know, it's going to be some serious time if this injury doesn't get better soon, which, the type of injury it is, it's a little scary. You know, I watched this guy called the Fantasy Football Doctor. I'll link him down in the comments or in the description so you know. That's where I got my information from, from both of these guys. So, we're going to check Matt, we're going to check who's backing up Matthew Stafford. Let's see, Matthew Stafford, no, 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 Rams, depth chart, I'm going to look it up right in the video because, hey, we all forget at times, right? So let's see, Matthew Stafford, you have John Wolford, you have Bryce Perkins, yeah, guys, I, I've heard of John Wolford, haven't heard of the other guys, so uh, yeah, having one of those guys starting isn't ideal, but it is what it is, and you guys let me know what you think, you know, when are these players going to be back? When is Zach Wilson going to be back? I think Zach Wilson has a chance to be back for week one. But I think they should play it safe, bring him back week two or three. There's no rush, no rush at all. So Matthew Stafford, it's unclear right now. Matthew Stafford is unclear. You know, it's he is out indefinitely probably. Not sure what's going to go on with him because it's not going to be easy to throw like that. You can't really throw like that. So you guys let me know what you think. Thank you for tuning in to the JW Sports Talk Show where your fans welcome. Where you get all the NFL news, rumors, injury updates right here. So Make sure to like, subscribe, put the post notification bell on if you miss any future videos. This is JDW signing off.